Welcome to Saqqara, the largest necropolis of ancient Egypt, around 10 miles southeast of the Pyramids of Giza, near the ancient capital of Memphis. This site is home to the first pyramid ever made in Egypt, along with many other pyramids, burial chambers, and intricate tombs. Tombs here date back to the Old Kingdom period, at the very beginning of dynastic Egypt, around 5,000 years ago, and was in continual use throughout Egypt's entire 3,000 year history. Artifacts from throughout Saqqara's long history can be found on display at the Imhotep Museum, our first stop at the entrance to the site. This museum contains many stone vessels, statues of pharaohs, this fifth dynasty scribe, and a relief showing a rare depiction of a famine. There's also a statuette of Imhotep, who is a high priest of the Third Dynasty and the probable architect of the Step Pyramid of Djoser. Before we go there, let's just take a look at what we'll be covering in today's video. We didn't know much about Saqqara when we visited, and we found our way to these places highlighted here. The Pyramid of Djoser, the Pyramid of Teti, the tombs of Kagemni and Mereruka, and the Mastaba of T. We'll mostly be focusing on these places in this video. Another important spot that we went to is called the Serapium, which is so incredible and mysterious that we chose to leave it out of this video so that we can make a whole video dedicated to just that site. The Pyramid of Userkaf, dating back to the 5th dynasty, was unfortunately closed to the public when we were there. The Pyramid of Unas is an important place, also from the 5th dynasty, that we somehow missed on our trip to Saqqara. We regret not seeing it though, because this is the first place where the pyramid texts were found, which are the oldest known Egyptian religious texts relating to life after death. The unfinished pyramid of Sekemket, known as the Buried Pyramid, would have been the second pyramid ever built, but it was never completed. The Great Enclosure, which is massive and is supposedly one of the oldest structures in Egypt, the Old Kingdom tombs to the north, and the rubble pyramids to the south are all other important locations at Saqqara that we just didn't have time to see. Driving up, you get an idea of just how massive this complex is. The step pyramid sits within a giant enclosure with a perimeter of almost a mile. There are 14 facade doorways and one entrance, the colonnade on the southeast corner of the enclosure. Upon entering the colonnade, we immediately encountered a beaming, charismatic man that gave us a warm welcome. Milo and him seemed to be friends from way back. The colonnade leads you into the main courtyard of the pyramid, which is the oldest large-scale stone building in the world that still stands today and is the oldest pyramid on Earth. It is over 200 feet tall and is considered to have been designed by Imhotep which he achieved by stacking six mastabas of different sizes on top of one another. It was built as a tomb for the third dynasty pharaoh Djoser, dating to around the year 2650 BC. A mastaba is a type of Egyptian tomb in the form of a flat-roofed rectangular structure with inward sloping sides, usually constructed of mud bricks. The six mastabas of the step pyramid were completely made from stone, as you can see, the pyramid is made of many smaller limestone blocks and is crumbling away after over four and a half thousand years of enduring the Sahara Desert. This erosion led to 14 years of restoration work, finally completing in 2020 and reopening to the public, after we were there in 2019. This means that we did not get to see the pyramid's complex and unique underground network of passages and corridors, which span over three and a half miles in length. There are two entrances to the pyramid that do not meet on the inside, one in the north and one in the south. The south entrance was built nearly 2,000 years after the pyramid was built in the 26th dynasty. The pyramid contains a burial chamber where the partial remains of a mummy were found and a burial vault consisting of four courses of large granite blocks and a giant plug weighing three and a half tons. This burial chamber sits in an impressive 92 foot deep vertical shaft that was carved directly down into the bedrock beneath the center of the pyramid. There are some great videos of people looking down into this shaft that we linked in the description below. Also in this underground network, 
Over 40,000 stone vases and jars were found. 40,000. According to the Antiquities Museum in Alexandria, the Djoser collection is the epitome of craftsmanship and goes back to the previous kings from the first and second dynasties and were made out of granite, alabaster, limestone, red granite, and quartz. They were buried 33 meters below the Steppe Pyramid and were excavated by Jean-Philippe Laure during the 1920s. Approximately 40,000 vessels were found in 6,000 boxes. These stone artifacts predate the Pyramid of Djoser and were crafted during the earliest chapters of ancient Egypt. The sheer quantity of them and their amazing level of quality speaks volumes about the capabilities of those ancient craftsmen who were making huge amounts of stone masterpieces during some of the earliest times of human civilization. This finding alone is one of the largest collections of any king found in Egypt, and this is just one of the many huge treasure troves that have been discovered in the last hundred years. New discoveries are still happening at Saqqara. The well-preserved tomb of Wati, a mummified rare animal cemetery, including a lion cub, many cats, alligators, and more, and apparently over a hundred sarcophagi were all discovered on various digs in the last few years. Netflix actually just released a documentary called Secrets of the Saqqara Tomb, which is about the amazing discoveries being made here along the eastern cliffs. It is a great film that we definitely recommend you see. It shows the up-close and personal story of the archaeological digs, and it's pretty amazing to see the workers uncovering rare discoveries from beneath the sands here at one of the oldest sites in the world. We have links in the description that go more into depth than do these findings. We were unaware of them when we visited. After leaving the Steppe Pyramid, we made our way northeast to the Pyramid of the Sixth Dynasty Pharaoh Teti. The pyramid was opened by the Egyptologist Gaston Maspero in 1882 and was explored in several expeditions in the years after. The preservation on the outside is rather poor, and the pyramid is decomposing into the sand. There are some beautiful stars on the ceiling of the burial chamber, and the walls are covered in a version of the pyramid texts. We then went next door to the tombs of Kagemni and Mereruka, who were the viziers of King Teti. The Mastaba of Mereruka is the largest and one of the more elaborate of the non-royal tombs at Saqqara, with 33 rooms. Both Mastabas contain beautiful reliefs of wildlife and other scenes, and some still have the original paint. We then went out to the Serapium, which we'll cover in our next video. This is a place that you should not miss under any circumstances when you visit Egypt. It's truly amazing, and you'll understand why when you watch our next video. Lastly, we went next door to the Mastaba of the 5th Dynasty official T. It is considered to be the most beautiful Old Kingdom Mastaba at Saqqara, with intricate reliefs depicting many different aspects of ancient Egyptian life. In the largest chamber here, referred to as the Offering Hall, there are scenes of animal hunts, including a hippopotamus hunt, boat building, and many hieroglyphics. There are holes along the southern wall of this chamber that look into what is known as the Serdab Chamber where the ancients would put a statue of the deceased person with a window so they could observe the offerings made to them. The Serdab statue of T is now in the Cairo Museum, and a replica sits in its place. We had a really nice time hanging out in this chamber. We were singing and toning, and it was really cool to explore the amazing acoustics inside of a stone temple made almost four and a half thousand years ago. As you can see, there's quite a bit of paint still on the walls. It's such a great experience to see such ancient art with paint still intact and the architecture acting like frozen music from a long forgotten time.
After spending quite a long time in the upper chamber, we went down into the tomb of T and saw the large granite sarcophagus which was found empty by Auguste Mariette in 1865. This was a great conclusion to a long day in the sun. We hope you guys enjoyed this tour of our day at Saqqara. It really is a fascinating site with so much history that spanned over 3,000 years. We wish we would have known a lot more about it when we visited Egypt, but there's just so many places to see there and it's kind of hard to learn about all of them. You'll never see everything, so it's best to just enjoy the ride and be present with the beauty that's all around. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We love interacting with you all. And don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. It really helps us grow and supports us in the tremendous amount of work that we put into these videos. Our description is filled with useful links and my website has a lot of photos from ancient sites around the world. So if you want to dive deeper, check all that out. Thank you so much, and stay tuned for a lot more to come on Ancient Presence, and we'll see you in the next video.